So I want to talk about two things in particular. Another big domino that did fall today involving Russia. And I also want to talk about the trust me bro. The trust me bro, trust me bro. And I know a lot of YouTubers literally say this. Trust me, I know something. I know someone that told me something that you don't know. So believe me, right? Never financial advice. That's what everybody says. But this isn't about one person necessarily. It's going over this whole thing. The trust me, bro, not providing any due diligence, no facts, no charts, no data, no nothing to have to go off of and spreading a narrative about something happening on a certain day, no matter if it's March 3rd or if it's been any other day throughout the past year. And more so than even just YouTubers, right? Even on Reddit, you will see posts all the time and some specific YouTubers, that's all they cover is long reddit post about you know their friend's dad works at goldman sachs and they're getting word to you know liquidate or short amc whatever the case is you guys have seen those reddit posts before but there's no facts there's no due diligence there oftentimes they involve specific dates and the problem with dates i don't have a problem with dates me personally i know if somebody is saying something like hey they're getting their books in a row, March 3rd, they're going to start covering in the next following week, whatever is said, if there is no facts, a a due diligence piece that goes over charts or anything that is solid proof, then I know to avoid that like the plague, that it's simply a lie and it's simply not true. But a lot of people specifically over the past week, you've seen a lot of Reddit posts, you've seen a lot of other YouTubers talking about this. And unfortunately, I've seen a lot of people say, hey, I'm going to buy a bunch of calls that expire this Friday, basically put all of their portfolio, if not a majority of their portfolio into very short term options. That is never a good thing to do. And if you did that, you probably are going to lose your whole entire portfolio tomorrow. You probably already lost half your portfolio today because the price of AMC just went down. And that's very unfortunate. And that's what I really want to hammer home here in this video is that you can listen to opinions and I highly encourage you guys listen to the the same people that say, hey, something is going to happen this day. This is why I think so. But be smart about it don't be naive don't think they actually know something that you don't because they don't know anything more than you do you might actually know more than the same people that say hey trust me bro i know somebody that knows something unless you hear a phone call uh see a text that you can verify unless you actually know the person unless you see some kind of char or statistical proof then don't believe anything anybody says about any date That's why I have never once and I strive to never do that here on this channel unless I could bring you guys actual factual proof, a phone conversation with a banker or something, something to give you guys some kind of proof about what I say. But uh, it's very unfortunate to see a lot of people that listen to people that they respect and admire and, uh, you know, just blow up their portfolios in the process, which Like I said, take in the opinions, but do not make any trades based off of anything. Always assume that they're lying or it's untrue until otherwise verified. And this doesn't go for just one or two or three people. This goes for half of YouTube out there. Half of the creators, if not more, will say, trust me, bro, or read Reddit post for as due diligence. Never listen to those creators. Never listen to those people unless they get on here and they show you uh, exactly why a date is significant. That's why I only watch a couple other uh, AMC creators because I can't listen to other people that that don't do that. So that's basically it. I want to say, for one, never YOLO your portfolio under any circumstances. You will lose all of your money. Not a question. You will lose all of your money. And then at the same time, take in the opinions, be very skeptical, and then come to your own conclusions. And I hope nobody that is watching this video lost a lot of money today expecting a big move to happen March 3rd because we will probably be down 
tomorrow and I as well and I know there's a lot of talk about the next couple of weeks which I do will do think will be bullish but I, I don't think it's quite what people expect 70 80 90 100 dollars or even to see the MOAS start this week I don't think that is going to be the case I've went over that many times here on this channel on why the data does not show that is the case and what we actually need to see for the MOAS which is liquidity being restricted we are not quite at that level where the price of amc goes up 50 percent and hedge funds are forcefully liquidated because they do not have enough money to service margin calls there is still plenty of money out there in the system and on that note while we are talking about margin calls and liquidity being restricted we must go over this right here so check this out s p Russia rating lower to CCC minus and kept on credit watch. What does this mean? Well, what is a good credit rating for a country? Investors use sovereign credit ratings uh, as a way to assess the riskiness of a particular country's bonds. Standard and Poor's uh standard and pours gives a bbb negative or higher rating to countries it considers investment grade and grades of bb plus for lower are deemed to be speculative or junk grade so what is a ccc status ccc minus is one of the lowest credit ratings a, a company can be given by an agency as well as a country it's nine notches down from bbb minus the rating required to achieve investment grade status ccc minus bonds are often called junk bonds since their risky nature makes them less popular among general investors and to be precise about this and why this is such a big deal because essentially if you had russian government bonds or any debt right in a company in russia which you'd be surprised buying stock you're buying equity in a company but you're buying the debt at the same time so if you have any stocks in russia any government bonds in russia any company bonds in russia you can no longer use those as collateral they are no longer investment grade and essentially what that means is you can pull collateral from anywhere. If a bank will take it and accept it, if it is investment grade collateral, then you can use that to service a margin call. So comparatively to what we're seeing now, you would get better collateral being long on AMC stock than having Russian government bonds. A bank would actually accept AMC as collateral. They will not accept Russian bonds as collateral or Russian stocks or anything Russian. And Russia has a very low debt to GDP ratio, which I've went over many times. It's only about 18%, which is ridiculously low. I mean, America, 140,000 debt to GDP. And uh, Japan at about 236% debt to GDP. So they were in a very you know attractive place to invest in for a lot of institutional investors but now they are unable to and they are unable to use any of their uh previous investments as collateral for such margin calls when they do come so very interesting i think this is another big domino to fall and i think this is a really big deal but this situation is going to take some time to play out to see what countries are affected what companies are going to be affected affected a lot and uh that general sense of what collateral is good what is investment grade what is not will take a while to fully play out but russia is clapped R the russian economy is basically priced to go bankrupt so and they they, they probably will i mean they, they have very little economic output as it is they are quote a big gas station so if the price of oil goes down especially they're going to default and that's going to send shock waves through the market once again so a lot of information i just laid on you guys let me know down below in the comment section if it makes any sense subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the not trust me bro information so thank you guys for watching if you want access to all my trading alerts in real time and join a trading community link down below in the pinned comment as well as links for free stocks down below in the description of this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one